As we traveled in our van, we often found ourselves trying to get as close to water as possible. We loved being by the ocean. We loved swimming, but it was hard. Our van was heavy and the fear of getting stuck in the sand was constant. And parking along beaches is minimal and often very crowded. We had the right idea to go beach by beach and see the world, but we had the wrong vessel for it. That's when we knew we needed a boat. Like most millennials, when you want to learn more about something, you head right over to YouTube, which is where we discovered the live aboard lifestyle. Initially, we found the giant channels like Sailing the Vagabond, Sailing Nanji, and the O'Kellys. We learned a ton about the incredible highs and lows of sailing, along with the refits and maintenance, and we just could not get enough. We then started digging deeper on YouTube and finding the channels that were just getting started, that were showing the non-production version of what boat life looks like, which was when we knew that's how we wanted to live our lives. From there, we created our plan to sell our van, travel and save money for a year, and then come back to the States to buy our boat. We're going to look at our first boat today. <laughs> Let's take a quick step back and talk about our thought process so far. We've been looking endlessly at boats online for over a year now, but really became dedicated to it over the last few months. Something that was holding us back was going back and forth on buying a monohull versus a catamaran. Most people recommend starting on a monohull and we are brand new to sailing, so it felt like that was the only choice we had. But truly, our hearts have always been set on a catamaran. If you're new to the sailing world, you might be wondering, what is a catamaran? What is a monohull? When most people think of a sailboat, they're going to think of something that looks like this, a single hull or monohull boat. A catamaran has two hulls instead of one. Because of this, catamarans are much more stable. They glide more smoothly over waves, whereas monohulls will more harshly rock back and forth. We decided the stability was more important to us to help us live more comfortably and hopefully with less motion sickness. Another reason we wanted a catamaran was because of the layout. Because of the two hulls, catamarans feel a lot bigger and airier on the inside. Plus, most catamarans feature a lot of windows, which can also help avoid motion sickness. Now let's jump back in and see our first boat. We're going to look at our first boat today. We are in Charleston, South Carolina. We're ready to see the first boat. Um, we promised ourselves we wouldn't buy the first boat that we saw. Might be a little tricky. Um, this we'll one do does look dope, but I do think we have some other boats we're gonna look at in Florida. I'm feeling nervous. Uh, I think it's more so the social aspect of meeting these people and looking at their boat that's making me nervous right now. Um, mostly though, the actual boat. I'm just excited to see it. Try not to get my hopes up, try not to fall in love with the first boat. Yeah, it's tough. We're like super excited to get going, to get started, um, but I have to tame those, like, tamper those expectations just a bit. I'm feeling super excited. I've talked to um, this man a couple of times. Seems super kind. Yeah, they're a sailing family, so it's, I mean, they seem like super lovely people. So I guess I'm a little less afraid to meet them, but I am the extrovert in our relationship. Very true. <laughs> This is an older boat. She had so much charm. We walked in and felt right at home. It was so hard not to fall in love with this boat. I could definitely see myself living here. But as we said, we promised not to buy the first boat we saw in person. So with that in mind, we move forward with our boat search. Today we're seeing boat number two. This is gonna be a Lagoon 380S2, which is quite a bit newer and quite a bit, uh, I guess like nicer. I yes. got my hand got stuck, but nicer <laughs> than the last boat we saw. But uh, we just want to get feet on as many boats as possible. Sorry. No, that's okay. I'm sorry I interrupted you. I was just going to say, also out of our price range, but... Yeah, this is a boat that um, <laughs> we would need to look at financing for. But, you know, I think getting our feet on as many boats as possible is just going to help us kind of like gain the perspective and get the... Um, right feel for what we're looking for. How do you feel about seeing this boat today? It's a lagoon. Not my favorite type of boat. You yeah. look at it, doesn't really spark joy, um, but it is in like the similar size range. So I feel like it would be good to, you know, just get like a one-to-one -one comparison. A few moments later. <laughs> Michaela got into the car and she goes, well, I hated that. <laughs> I'm sorry, maybe that's too blunt. No, it's okay. I think it's just like there's certain vibes of boats for different people and I think that boat just didn't quite catch our vibe. And that's totally okay, you know? I'm not mad that I saw it. It was good that we stepped out of it and took a look at it. Yeah. Oopsies. The Lagoon 380 was like one of the most produced cats, like production cats. Um, so wildly popular. Lots of people like um, it makes sense that they're chartered all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I don't know. Just didn't 
just didn't quite do it for us. It didn't speak to my heart. Yeah, in my heart of hearts, it did not spark joy. We spent the next few weeks looking at a few more boats, specifically a couple Leopard 38s that were in charter and in pretty rough shape. But with every boat we saw, we could not stop comparing it to that old Prout Snow Goose 37, the first boat we ever looked at. We signed our papers today. We have a boat. This whole process was pretty tough because the boat had to be imported into the United States. We, as first time sailors, had to like figure out insurance and Coast Guard registration and state registration for the dinghy. So I have spent so many hours trying to figure out like all of the logistics of making this happen. So now after like actually clicking the button, and uh, getting things, all the paperwork done. I feel, I don't know, yeah, like a thousand times lighter. <laughs> <laughs> so it may not have been the wisest, but we did buy the first boat we saw. <laughs> we promised ourselves we wouldn't buy the first boat that we saw. <laughs> we did see a couple other boats, but they just really did not. They weren't it, they weren't her. Yeah. She was the one. I mean, we looked at so many boats online. Like thousands of I don't have to online. defend myself. It's a stupid decision, but yeah. it is the one that we made and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, I mean, we've already <laughs> done it. Um, so we'll see how it plays out. And I'm so excited. Like, we've been on the boat. We've, we, had, we had like some really intense lessons yes. um, a Friday to Sunday to really like get us up to speed about like sailing configurations and how to motor the boat and how to maneuver it in tight marinas and some of that was like very stressful. And honestly, like even though everything was like pretty intense, um, every minute I've been on that boat, I've just felt so at home. So a couple reasons we decided to move forward with this boat. One of the things we liked about her is that she's really sturdy. Um, they were a little bit overbuilt at the time that these boats were produced because people didn't really trust fiberglass yet. But that's kind of a nice thing for us. She's a very sturdy build. Yeah, a nice 1980s style catamaran. Yes. <laughs> she's also not super wide. Um, she's only 16 feet across, so she can fit in monohull slips, which um, I've heard saves quite a bit of money compared to having to get um, two slips to fit a normal size catamaran. Mm -hmm. She feels very homey and like family oriented, which is the kind of boat that we were looking for. We want something that feels like a home. Yeah, it's kind of like the opposite of how we felt on some of those more production cats. Um, like, yeah, they might be faster. Yeah, I mean, they like arguably, objectively might be just nicer when it comes to like a luxury standpoint. But wow, this boat just feels like home. And it's just something about that that it's just like hard to understand until you get there. And then you can just like feel the difference. Crowd shot. shot. Actually, I feel like I need to tighten this guy quite a bit. We did get the engine started. We had a little bit of um, a tricky time doing it because we didn't have this thing in all the way. I think like when I initially started it, it pulled down because I put the lanyard on and... And he forgot. And, well then like when I pulled, I think it just came off. Yeah. Um, but I think like the answer is like, don't put it on until you're going. Everything is wet. 
just try not to fall into the water. Left so center of gravity. Okay, that was pretty dry. There isn't a lot of waves, but the bottom of the dinghy is wet. So I think we're gonna have to take everything out of the bags and hang up the bags to dry. I'm gonna do the big bag. Okay, we just dump it on one of the beds. Okay, we're running on the beds to do that with. What about that bed? Yeah, go ahead. That feels like a good sign of manatee breeding. Maybe we can get a video of him. It's right over here. Oh, I heard. Oh my god! <laughs> Where'd you go? The family who lived on board had two kids, so there was some. I mean, they got a lot of stuff yeah. off the boat. Um, Which was great. There was like the last couple of days, the weather was really bad, yeah. so we ended up with a couple bags of Goodwill stuff. So we got. Okay, so now we're loading up the dinghy. Yep, so we brought stuff from the car to the boat. Now we're taking stuff from the boat to the car. We'll do it one more time. <laughs> but we did see a manatee, so pretty Days good day. Up. Pretty good day. <laughs> Just letting you all know, although we think the name Mary is very sweet, we are going to be changing her name. So today we are seeing boat number two. Boat number two. <laughs> I'll put things where I want to in my own videos, okay? Yeah, exactly. No endings. Ever. Zero end. Only cliffhangers. <laughs> no rev revolutions. Resolutions ever. Resolutions, there we go. Nice. I've not been drinking. It seems like I have. New Year's or otherwise. <laughs> resolutions. <laughs> <laughs>